So today I wanted to see if I can get a bow drill going and uh, show you guys the process from all the way from collecting the tinder to blowing it into flame uh, after getting the coal. So I got today some basswood I'm going to be working with. I got a bassboard baseboard. You can see I just put the, the original starting hole in it with my knife. Just a little drill there to give the spindle somewhere to rest while I'm drilling. And you want the one side of the spindle that's going to go into the fireboard uh, to be a dull point and I like my other side to be a long point. Um, it, that helps reduce the friction with the bearing block. So the bearing block or the socket, whatever you want to call it, is just a piece of hard, hard. Uh, it's either oak or maple, I believe this one's maple. And it spins in there, but the other way, upside down. Uh, today I'm using my Kephart, uh, my new one I got in a trade. I believe it's a JK Kephart, it has the K there. I don't know if you can see it in this camera. What I really like is my first convex knife and uh, I'm liking it a lot. It's a four and a half inch blade, four and a half inch handle for the original style Kepherts. All right, so as for tinder, uh, to get the fire going after I've blown it into a ball, I'm gonna use this dried, uh, some kind of shrub, dried grassy shrub, really, really airy, really dry, really thin. And then I got my tinders, in order that I'm going to put them on, I've got some small sticks that I shaved, some larger twigs, larger sticks, larger sticks, larger sticks. And that's just to start it off with. That's not even the, the actual fuel. That's just, like I said, to start it off. And to blow it into a tinder, uh, the tinder bundle I have to blow it into flame is some basswood inner fibers. And then there's punk wood inside. I've never tried it with the punk wood inside. I believe it's just going to make the coal go longer but we'll see. So putting the drill or the spindle inside the bow, you want to put it in so that the spindle is not in between the, uh, the string and the bow. You want it on the outside. So I'm just going to start drilling before I cut the notch to burn it in a little bit. Hope you guys can see this. I want to place my place my foot close to the hole okay so that's pretty good I got that burned in got the hole burned in there and the spindle fits. I'm going to cut the notch, I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see I cut the notch. You want it to be, I don't know, a quarter of the way in the hole so that the dust gathers in the notch and that's where the ember forms. Okay, so when I start drilling this time, I'm going to get enough speed to where it starts to smoke. And then after I build in some 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 dust, I want to go give it up my all and uh, try and see if I can get the ember on the first time. I've got a little piece, of, a little sliver of wood underneath to catch the ember so that I can transport it to my tinder bundle. I used to use my knife, but I don't like putting the ember on it anymore. I think I got it. It's smoking. It's smoking a lot and that's a good sign.
You don't want to blow on it, you want to fan it with your hand because the moisture in your breath can put it out. See it smoking there? So I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm trying to do this and film at the same time, it's kind of hard. Ember goes into the tinder bundle. I'm going to transfer it to my fire pit. Okay, I got fire. So I put the dry twigs on, or sorry, the, the dry grasses or reeds or whatever on. I'm going to throw my small sticks on. Throw my other small sticks on. I want to crisscross them so there's a lot of uh, oxygen in between the two. Then I could even start throwing my bigger sticks on now because the flames are pretty big. Alright, well that's pretty much it. I'm going to tend to the fire a little bit and I think I'm going to cook up an egg in the coals. Maybe I'll videotape that too, but that was it for my bow drill tutorial. I hope it was easy to understand. If you guys have any questions at all about it, let me know. Uh, I'd love to help you out. I'm just learning too myself, so it's uh, it feels good when you can do that. Alright guys, take it easy.